Greetings and welcome back. Now, it's been a couple takes since the last, uh, since, uh, it's been a couple attempts since my last time trying this. I've had a lot of crashing happening when I've been trying to do this particular, uh, recording. So we're gonna see what happens. I wanted to finish up the fields is what I wanted to do. Now this guy, oh, actually I wanted to get rid of that field. So here's what I finished up last time around. I finished up these rice patties and I wanted to make a nice kind of terraced area and I was nice and deep for swimming. I wanted to make a nice terraced area for the people to work in and uh, it's I think it turned out okay and I like this background on it. I think this is all right. Now the thing I tried to get this area to match up and I also tried to make it a 25 like a 5x5 five five to get that 25 max field area that is currently workable based upon the fact that they don't there is no happiness impact on productivity and it's just kind of 25 is the hit I'm just making them this size for now in the past before they just kind of kept things on the level you could get up to 28 and I think I got a field worker up to 32 at one point with one of my fields so in the future I'll be looking into how I can make these a little bigger but for now it's just what it is uh, that one that field down there is doomed to go we'll, we'll see about that matter of fact figure out who he is so I can cut him out of here and move him somewhere else. Okay, Igoro, you are going to have a new place to work, my friend. Because we don't need you working in there. Alright, yo. Let's change your job. A couple of new fields over here, and I think we could use some millet. So why don't you get over there and do that? Oh, I guess we aren't going to do millet. Hmm, we can do ginger, though. Let's do that. But you work in the ginger field. I'll take care of this thing, get rid of it. And as a heads up, this is my, like I said, this is the third attempt. I've had this, I have had a lot of crashing recent, recently. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to see what we can get away with running away from here. And go do other things in other areas just in case this is somehow my issue. And our quests, we're fine. We have to reach Dynasty level 19, which is going to be a little while. We do have some special projects we can finish up. That wouldn't be a bad idea. And I, of course, have Seaside to work on. Wouldn't mind getting some more leather because obviously we definitely want to continue this crafting side of things here. And with nine leather, hmm, it's not really moving that fast. We have people working on getting us fur, which is nice, but it also goes rather slow. So that seems to be a one of the parts of the process that I want to speed up. Now this, I don't want this sitting here anymore. I kind of don't like it sitting out in the middle of nowhere. That's a little better. And then we have our friend here who's just kind of randomly working about the area. All right, let's get out of here. Now let's go do some things, right? Like Let's go get some work done. I was going to add another hunter's job, but uh, one of the problems with adding another hunter's job is that there's really no room in this hunter's station to add another job. It's kind of a pain. So I think what we got to do... We just got to start working on our village and finishing up some of the things that we've already started. With that, I can get me some coffee here. And Smithy is on. Oh yeah, that's right. Smithy may be here, but the Smithy does not have what I needed. And I remember that a long, a little while back. It reminds me of what was going on in the last recording. It was that I needed to... I wanted to add my... Uh, all I wanted to do, all I was really doing was just trying to get stone. And then it turned into me going, Oh yeah, I still haven't taken care of this whole water field terraced area and I wanted to build that up. So let's finish this particular part of the project that has been waiting in the wings. Oh, congratulations. And we're done. Nice. Now, this building should be complete, but I don't remember seeing a notification. Hmm. Oh, well. Let's just keep on going. All right. With this building, I think it's just always necessary to have the Tatara Furnace. I shouldn't have said that. Tatara is Furnace, I believe, so Tatara Furnace would be super redundant. All right. Let's get this thing in here. And... I put all these windows in here because that was kind of my vision on it was that yeah this is going to need ventilation because you got somebody working in here Ugh, that's a lot to breathe hmm now i'm thinking that i don't like the way these panels look blended together but oh well 
that's what we do when we learn about how this thing is. I want to be able to see it before I can decide what I like and what I don't like, right? Now, storage is wise. I think it is always vital to have all of the storages nearby that you're going to make use of. So for this particular building, I'd like to have a general store available. Now, I'm trying to make it look nice, but honestly, ugh, what's the point? I can easily fit the logs next to the other part. I can see it easy. If I do this, and then if I add the uh, log storage, it'll just fit side by side. See? And that's easy to reach. Oh, I only need... It's just one log, man. It's just one log. Let's get one log. And then finish up some of this planning area here. With this... Might as well max out. We're going to end up doing some more building anyway. And most of the bases require logs. I probably should have maxed out on planks, honestly. But look at that. Now I have a wood storage, so I don't really care. Because <laughs> now I... Now I have access to all the things I need anyway. Hmm, premium. I prefer not to use up my premium boards, so let's do that. Indeed. Okay, furniture-wise, the only things that I would like to have here... There we are. I would like to have... Oh, shoot. There we go. Now, is it not agreeing with me in this particular wall style? Is that what's happening? Wrong grid for this furniture item. Okay. But you'll let me put it out here. All right, I, I get you. I like that because if I'm going to build a bunch of weaponry, I'm done. I put them away and we move on, right? So I like to make things easy on myself for motion. I can't really think of another thing that would be useful for us here. Hmm. I don't really like having the charcoal kiln sitting in here. It doesn't really, it doesn't help for much. Those I tend to like to have on the village side. And for these, we can just build them as a feature outside them somewhere like here so people can breathe all the smoke in the area right and then i think for aesthetic wise now i'm only doing this for the aesthetic because you do not need two charcoal kiln job jobs i mean honestly it's there's no reason why you would need this much charcoal being produced but i just think it makes sense for the amount that we would want this place producing we would have a number of kilns going well, I probably should have thought about having them hidden back a bit, right? But, I mean, nobody can actually sail up this river. So if we were thinking about, can anybody spot us? And, I, you know, I try to have that lens of, like, I'm doing the RP side of thing here. And uh, I'm trying to have that lens of, strategically, if somebody was going to be viewing and trying to look in this area, uh, by the time they look down this way, it's hard to kind of find out what's going on. And a lot of obfuscation is going on, which is good. It's what we want. So I think we're good. And obviously there's nothing we can really do with it, so it can be just good enough and we'll go with it. Okay, well that being the case, we've now got a setup. We should have a woodworking station. I will move it deeper into here. For now it's just in that area because it makes sense. I think it wouldn't be a bad idea to have fishing buildings in this area since that makes sense, right? We, we would expect that there'd be fishing going on in a river. It could be okay. Wouldn't mind having some storages, that makes sense. An armory would make sense. But I think I haven't really fleshed out my thoughts on this area yet. So, we run over here now. To take care of this. We have a lot of things we could do. And ten arrows. Perfect. I'm checking my inventory for arrows, just be sure that I have everything all set for hunting. Because I know on the way back, there are boars, and I'd like to get some more fur. That is going to be a thing that for right now, I just need a lot of it. I haven't been struggling with, uh, I have had no trouble getting more feathers, so I'm not really going to worry about that. Hmm. I want to make sure that I didn't just startle a boar that is now going to attack me, and two of them. Perfect. Good thing to move away from temporarily. They don't need to be attacked directly yet. Oh, nice sidestep. There we go. <laughs> Do get a kick out of their last groan sounds <laughs> kind of like a person. Like, Roll. Alrighty, let's see here. We get you. Oh, no space for item. Well, duh, because I'm running around with all of my logs. And who am I kidding? Hmm. Yeah, spacey. Let's get out here. 
come back in here and get that stuff. All right. Oh yeah, that's the tricky thing. We have these. Uh, I do also have that. Um, I'll have to wait till next season for those things to go and not be here anymore. It's okay because we are going to do some planning. I think I'd like to get that watchtower in. That was a nice feature last time, and if I. That'll give me a little time to. There we go. They've done. They finished their needs, and we got through a major crash issue for me. So that's good news. I'm happy. I think at this point, and I shouldn't say this, but I think we're okay right now. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Okay. All right. Let's do this. Where am I at? I want to get my watchtower. And it has been a little time. There we go. Guard tower. Top of the hill is a good place to have it since we want to build a spot from a large distance. Anyone coming in the area. We have things to be concerned with from Segi. We've got things to be concerned with from people from the outside. So this area we want a good viewing. So we're here and we're here. That's a lot of forest right there. I think we can get away with going about there. There we are. Not bad. Alright, let's get some things on here. That's my hammer, man! Oh no! Alright, here we go. <laughs> uh, the amount of hammers you go through. Yeah, bamboo is definitely a thing that I gotta remember to throw in the inventory when I'm building. But we did get rid of some logs, and that was one of the goals. Having this tree here uh, doesn't give us a good sight line, but it's not a big deal yet. I'm thinking that I want to have houses that kind of just expand in a line this way. I want to have this be a pathway. So we come from this way. Oh, nice! A fox! That's a good sign. We'll consider this auspicious, right? I mean, our god that we've been worshipping and honoring in all of our different quests is Anari. Here we have a fox here. We'll take it. And we'll say that it's a good omen. Now the standard house is a four-person cedar. The luxury large house, I call that a luxury house, but it is huge. The um, larger houses are wonderful, and uh, but expensive. Although at this point, obviously, we're producing. We're, we're producing. We're not worried about it. I'm going to make these fairly tight together because this is how things were generally done. As I recall, you tended to pack people together pretty tight. And with this crew, we're essentially trying to pull up a village in record time to start servicing against potential... or start servicing our rebellion, right? Alright. Nice. With these, we'll get a good old start on this. And I wouldn't mind... I wouldn't mind if I had uh, quick access to some storages. We'll need that right around here. Let's see here. If we were to be concerned about our guards having access to weaponry, if we were concerned about all the rest of those things, we'd have to think about where we're building that too. A little swampy over here. I wouldn't mind having us a hunting lodge somewhere inside this territory. Because I do want to have more. I want to have more of the... Uh, I want to have more fur. And for me, that... That would be a worthwhile endeavor this early on. I also love the fact that there's basically a tower built into this thing. Wouldn't mind having it here, although the whole being built in the swamp is not, not, not ideal. So let's see, maybe we can go in a bit. Yeah, building this into the swamp does not make sense. We would be trying to build structurally into land that would sink. So if we're trying to go realism, I'm trying to avoid that type of situation. If we're not caring about realism, then I just build it wherever the heck I want. But I like I like trying to picture it working. Working in an actual sense. Let's see here. We can step against this rock and be stuck. That's a great way to do it. If I build this this away, <laughs> right into the swampy swamp, then we end up with a watchtower that looks back against our friends from Segi. Now, this wouldn't be bad. Of course, it's right by the bell. This wouldn't be bad, but it is definitely built into that area. Okay. Right. I'm going to gather up some more things. Let's get this done. Okay. 
with this, I think we need to get a central like food slash eatery area done. So we need kind of like a market slash eatery. And I think that that's going to be the next thing to take care of. So let's do that. One of our best buildings, I would say, one of the best buildings we can do at the start. This workshop has basically everything you need accommodation wise, which is awesome, but it's, it can be useful to have. I do want to make my paper maker. So welcome back. So here we are. I finished up the tanning, well, the tailors, and I'm working on currently the hunter's lodge. So I know before the kind of break, I was letting you know I was looking around for a good spot for this and I don't want to build it in the swamp and have it fall back down and then have to rebuild again. Well, I mean, it doesn't actually happen, but I didn't want it to look silly. I didn't want it to be like a, hmm, if you built it there, it would definitely sink into the water. Like, that just doesn't make sense. So I wanted to have some, some semblance of realism to it. So built here. And now the next thing is all that bark. Hmm, uh-oh. Now the goal of trying to find all that bark that I got before. There we go. Ha! Huh. Open your eyes. <laughs> and then we need the fur. Definitely got a few of our boars that are in the area, and we do have a good collection of boars here. Now with this setup, here's my goal. We've got a nice little area here. This is super convenient in the sense that I can just kind of grab and go. One of the major things that was kind of standing out for me to want to do here was that I needed to we'll be able to build two millet bags. That's great. We're finally at a spot where we can build our millet bags. Perfect. Now we can finally go and we can finally take care of this. Oops, my bad. I wanted to change the job. We are not going to grow that anymore. We are going to focus on millet and I probably should have added the millet bags to the general storage. That's kind of the start of how you get that to go, right? There we go. Let's fix that. Oh, not fully awake. I take it. Oh, here we go. That's a millet bag. Then the last thing. This person's good. We have you in a land field. And I think we are set. Oh, I have a lot of people wasting their time here. No way. We do not need you to be doing that right now. Instead... I would be very happy to have you making millet. Thank you. Okay, now this, part of this was, uh, part of the goal on this one was to get this finished up. Now, I chose my wall types. I wanted to be very particular because tanning is a horribly smelly process. And I figured that if you're going to build a building that has tanning going on, it'd probably be great to have a little ventilation. And I do so love this style of wall, so we're probably going to see a lot of that. Whether for good or for better or for worse, that's going to be kind of the way it looks. I rather like that one. All right, now we do have a lot of premium plankery, and that's good, citing the fact that premium planks are not the ones I want to build everything out of. So, and a lot of these ones that you start out, it just says any plank, and I don't tend to like to waste my any planks, my my nice ones. I don't like to waste my nice stuff on that, right? But I do think that the premium conifer looks way better. Than the standard. This place is built out of premium. Oh, basically all of them are at this point, except for the ones that don't take premium. So having this in this area, I think will look good. Uh, let's see here. I am planning to have a lot of this open, but this is a butchery, so let's not go crazy. So change types. I definitely added. I, I purchased basically everything. We're gonna go with that style framed wall. See if we can get away with a window here. I think a window is fine. Hmm. Limited styling. Who's the base? Because that keeps up our pattern there. And then let's get a little ventilation here. Oh, I can't. Interesting. That'll work. We'll just deal. Framed wall costs more resources. It's okay. I like the larger windows. I'm going with that. Should definitely have. A little more ventilation. It'll be nice. Why not? We want creature comforts for our people, right? If we're going to make this place look legit, then let's just make it look the way we want to. So here, this is a good spot. I think the half frame wall is probably the better, but I do like that style. And the fact that it's made out of only planks is <laughs> not actually that bad, honestly. The sticks, yeah, sticks you have to pick up so many. 
Not pick up, I mean, you just have to carry a lot. It's way easier just to craft them out of logs, especially at this point where the amount of logs we make is just absurd with our people. And we're going to turn this into a let's make lots of paper. Ooh, look, one stick. I bet you I can find one stick. Oh, awkward uh, bush stuck in a tree. Hmm, yeah. Boom. We will need more sticks. We might as well get on that. Oh, it's raining again. Hmm, this autumn has been a rainy one. Good season to finish up some work in. Next thing, we're, oh, at the, uh, there we go, we're good, okay. We hunted a bunch of boar in this area. Now, the boar are very common in this area, and it's good for me in the sense that that'll give me a lot of leather, that's right, and they're easy to hunt, so I'll take it. Perfect, look at us go. Almost done with a lot more of the workstations that we'd like to have. I'm probably going to move that one. Doctor's workstation, oh yeah, hmm. I wonder if I could change the type on that one, that'd be nice. I think you have to finish it first before you can do anything with that. Oh, hey. <laughs> Get up here and we'll finish this off. And happily, that also allows me to grab grasses, which I apparently am absolutely out of. That's in the general storage, actually. That's the trick. So let's go get that and finish up this little hut. Then we can do whatever we want with this area. There we are. All right, good. Now from here, you see that we have this one done, and then of course the tannery is not far away because, go figure, they work hand in hand. And I want to turn this region over here, once that's gone, into our market square, our kind of like our go-to market area for crafted goods and things like that. So we'll have some workshops and other things that make sense with that. Over here, we're going to have our fishing area and a lot of wonderful buildings for that. At some point, there's going to be a tavern here. These two are temporary. They're temporary because I want the tavern to actually be located centrally for the village and not far away from our market quarter. So that's the way our organization is going to flow. The next thing that's worth kind of digging in on, and now that we have all of our access, and part of this, the tannery turned into a go-to building for me because I needed access to being able to get all of the things in. In other words, I needed storage bins so that I could just pick up and go so I could easily navigate and easily just get the supplies I need. With this, the next thing that I think is worthwhile is I'll show you the next, the other area that I was working on, and that will be the Midland training area. And then we definitely need to take all of our nice resources. And I want to be sure that we finish up some stuff here. I want to get the paper going. I want people building this. I want people making paper for decorations. That'll be the next thing that we talk about in the far village, the one that I told you I didn't really have a plan for yet. Well, I do now. Here we go. This little area, this nice... Hmm, that's right. Let's get out of here. This nice little area here, which I got so rudely interrupted for, is going to be our training facility. So we're going to turn this into a barrack and a training space. Since it's hidden into the woods, we can obfuscate it by using things like the woodchopper's hut and things like that, to make it appear from the tree line that this is nothing more than a lumbering area that or an area for working on wood. So that is going to be handy. And you'll notice that that was the building here. Okay, now, paper making takes a lot of water. And why not have our paper maker somewhere here to give us a nice visual block, right? Another thing worth considering is having the paper maker on the other side so that that's a huge visual block between here and there and it's not far away from our woodworking station, which honestly doesn't make a ton of space or it doesn't make a ton of sense because the, you know, the woodworker, there's no paper trees here, so it really wouldn't add up, right? I mean, you'd look at that and you'd be like, hmm, you're making paper out of pine. I don't buy it. But we could easily have it here because there could be supplies building or coming up and down the river from here. So trying to make this, trying to make this make sense, right? Trying to make all these things make logical sense, right? Now this building is rather large, and I'd like for it to make some, like it to look good in our area, or as good as we can. 
My goodness, so many things. Now, will we move that later? It's possible. All right, let's get this going. Now, I don't want to chop down trees in this area yet. I'll probably end up actually planting more just because I want this to be completely treed in. That'll be one of our goals is to get this hidden so well from view. We're going to RP the heck out of this, dang it. All right, now let's go back and finish this beast. So this building is going to be important for us because I want to start getting our village lit up and decorated. And we've been having people harvesting paper logs for some time now. Mm, I probably should have been a little more careful with that. Ooh. Let's see here. Let's do a thing. I want to see which pile it takes from first. Okay, good. It takes from the least the lowest quality before it takes from the highest quality. That's really good news because I don't want to waste my good materials on this. We are going to want this out of premium. And then the trick is to make this a nice area. Hmm. Oh, and I love me some half walls. You know that. I think I like the idea of... Hmm, I just want this to be... If this is going to be like this, I might just want an open entrance. And then we can have that door right there. I think that's not bad. There we go. That'll make a little more sense. Ooh, don't want to finish that strike. We'll have that be the wall. Yeah, and we'll give a lot more of this kind of space idea here. Mm-hmm. Now, of course, in the wintertime, this is not exactly a great thing, right? We wouldn't want to have a huge amount of open air in the wintertime, so I should probably double-check my thinking on that. But get the based window here, and then we'll start doing some fortified walls. Yeah, we'll do the frame wall. Mm -hmm. Sticks. Always sticks. I don't need a lot of these guys, so we can take these guys out. We can take some of these out, that's for sure. Although, honestly, I think the best way to go is to... best way to go on this stuff, I believe, is to just take your logs and process your logs down sticks. You'll get plenty of logs. That has not been a problem recently. Hmm, now I'm regretting this choice. Because I want it to look like it's actually a finished frame area. Yeah, we can go with that. I do like that open look to it, but I do think I will regret that choice later. Just because it is a rather... There we go. That can look good. Oops, that was a mistake. That's not my goal. We'll keep getting this framing in. And then let's get some more of this. Alright, let's see. I may end up deciding that I really can't stand the way I organized this. And you can always change it later, right? Like, that's the best part of it is that you get to have the power to decide what you like and what you don't. And obviously you do it the way you do. I like these ideas just because, you know, it seems to make some sense for a small opening. There we go. See how far we can get before we run out of sticks yet again. All right. Oh yeah, lots of sticks. Oh no, another hammer down. Okay. I think it's time for us to upgrade. Because we keep breaking our hammers, and it's... It's okay in the sense that I can just keep building these hammers, but honestly, who am I kidding? Let's give ourselves a nice hammer. Ooh, a masterwork hammer. Mm hmm. Only one leather. Ooh, boo. Oh, we go stick an iron ore or one leather or two blanks. Yeah, let's go for it. Let's go for that. Steel hammer it is. Cool. Now we don't have to do so much of that. And of course, since we have our storage right here, let's finish this thing up. We will probably need some logs, and I would like to finish up our setup for sticks, but we don't have any sticks. All right. We'll do a quick fast forward. I'll see you at the other side of this. I'm going to gather, I'm going to get a bunch of sticks out of our logging area and finish that up. And here we are finishing this up. Let's get these last logs in here. Boom. All right, now 
any plank, that's a win. Paper dryer, then you see storage, wonderful water storage, of course. There we go. Chiseled stone, oh good, 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 good. We can finally make use of that stuff. Oh, I love that you have to finally use water in a crafting setup. Okay, cool. Nice. Stones and planks, so we need water, water. 15 water, 5 stone. All right, let's do this. Let's finish this building. Look at all the stone I got. And I need some water. Villager needs will pop in pretty soon here. There we go. Perfect. Good stuff. Nice. And iron ore. Good. Because we have iron ore. Oh, do we have the planks? And am I wasting premium planks on this? I am. Yes, 100%. Do I feel like it's a waste? No, because we can get a ton more anytime I want. We have so many stations. There it is. Good to go. That's fun. Okay. I do love the look of this place. Now, obviously, in wintertime, this is horrible. <laughs> People sitting here trying to... Oh, I apologize. I want to change the job. People sitting here freezing their rumps off. All right? Oops. Did we just get our work for the day? No. Okay. Let's get some jobs going on. You. You're going to change your job. Time to talk about that. Hmm, is it time to talk about that? Where's the paper station? Oh, I need you in this village. Let's find out what our two named people are and what their current jobs are. You, sir. You're a refugee. What's your story? Uh huh. Oh, yeah. Why don't you live with us? You can sell one of our villagers. Yeah. Hmm. That being the case, wow, I tell you what. I am going to need to do some things here, right? I mean, I have no houses here. That explains why I have no jobs here. You have the one way in. You can't really separate the porch, that front area, from the back area. That would be nice if you could actually add a dividing wall. Because if I could add a dividing wall here, I feel like this place would look a little less like a barracks and more like a house. Because right now, this definitely feels very much like a barracks. Which will work well for what I'm planning on doing, right? There we go. It looks like we unlocked a few things, which is interesting. I'll take it. Yeah, I'd say this definitely looks more like a barracks than anything. Just because you kind of... You wander in, and it's all about just the... It's all about just the uh, sitting area. So, let's do this. Let's move this beast. Now that we know that we can make some... Uh, there we go. Is that our doorway? Yes, it is. We will put our barracks-y type thing over here. Because that is part of our goal here, right? Is to have a training facility. Wouldn't be terrible for us to build it as if it were an actual barracks. Hmm? So, let's try that out. Will it make sense here? Probably not. It's not bad. Yeah, that definitely feels like a barracks. <laughs> Interesting. Let's see here. How many more beds can I add? That's the question. We're going to go simple for now just because I really have a lot. Oh, look at that. Ooh, nice. We're going to make some fancy places. All right, let's see here. I'm going to end up moving these, so I'm going to have... Yeah, let's do this. Can I move you? Of course I can move you. Move it all, man. That's one of the wonderful things. It's one of the wonderful things is that you can basically move ev Oh, that was a silly thing. There we are. You can basically move everything. Try to match it up. I want it to look... I want it to make some sense. Now, obviously, I'm not going to be building a proper barracks sleeping area, but I can at least make it look kind of truly like this is a... This is a mass area. Like, this is us needing just facilities for sleeping. I can also move that back in a bit. I'll probably end up doing that. As far as the sleeping arrangements are concerned. Okay, so we've hit our limit, which is only six. It's only two more sleeping areas than our standard house. All right. We have a new person. And I definitely missed my... I missed my opportunity, right? I missed my chance to get the paper maker all set. So that is not a... Ooh, there we go, ice storage, that's what I want. It's not a huge deal, given that we have days. And there's no... I mean, at this point, I'm just kind of playing for fun. I hope you are too, because we're in early access, and it's kind of like... Uh, 
you can just get to um, enjoy learning the basics as we go. And I'm figuring that for this, we're just going to kind of mess around with stuff and just see what works and what doesn't. Now you, I'm pretty sure you're already part of our village. These weren't named people, by the way. When I said that before, I said, oh, let's get these named individuals working. But actually not, right? All right, so let's do this. What can we make here? No general storage bill. Okay, fine. We can fix that. That it looks like that's probably going to be our common theme here. So I better just get on this and I'll just assign you people to your home. And in large house, you can work this space. And you can too. Enjoy. Alright, that being the case, oh, my apologies, I can actually do one more major thing here. You. I have... Oh. There has to be... There we are, I was say, there has to be a space for you to be able to work on these. And let's make sure that you are a paper worker. We want to max that out. Oh, I need a general storage. Yeah, of course we do. We'll get a premium conifer out of you. We'll go for paper as well, and then we'll also go for premium conifer. That'll be our goal with you. Let's do that. And they'll be angry next season. Brr. General storage building. I'm going to end up with a weapon storage over here, which will be great. Um, I think we can probably toss the general storage building anywhere we like, honestly. It's not really a, not a thing. But that is something worth noting. So as you're building your villages up, something that always kind of... You have to have your supply connectors, right? You have to have you have to have a general storage lodge so that workers can have access to tools and then therefore all those tools can be properly grabbed and used. I'm just gonna toss it right here. And of course I'm gonna run out of planks, I'm guessing. There we go. We're gonna keep this simple. Let's see here. When they say simple, they mean simple. Let's see here. We can get away with makeshift. We can get away with conifer and premium conifer. We go for the gusto, man. We want beautiful. Oh, and yeah, I'm keeping this one simple because it's it's a general storage building. So we're just gonna we're gonna keep it super simple. Or the reason is I probably won't even look at this thing that often. But it is worth having it make some sense, right? And we'll need more sticks, of course. Yeah. I'll tell you what, y'all. What I'm going to do is I'm going to call it here because it seems that this is going to be a whole lot of me just running back and forth, and you don't need to see a lot of that. But we're making progress. We're getting somewhere, and the next steps, I think, are going to be... I'm going to wrap up just getting these general storages built on both sides of this because I need a general storage in that village in order to do work. I need a general storage in this area to do work, and I want this paper making happening. And I also need some more housing expansions in these two areas. So I'll see you next time around. Thanks for your patience and waiting for this episode to come out. It's um, been entertaining. No crashes today, so I'm really happy about that. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, and take care until next time we meet.